Thank you for joining me on Marco Antonio Strategizes. My name is Marco Antonio, and I'm a first-hand restaurant owner and operator, and I have a passion for marketing and marketing strategy. Today, what I want to talk to you about is a truly large and significant tool and piece of our everyday lives that most business owners and operators are not leveraging to their full potential. If you use Google, like 85% of the people in the world do, this tool has influenced your decision making drastically and we need to leverage this to the best of our ability to do the best work possible that we can to make sure that we're properly represented online and do the best that we can with our business my screens on google my business search for something online you don't immediately come across a business's website what you see are the listings indexed listings in google search engine presenting your website and more than commonly than not you you see what's commonly referred to as the map pack like the top three the top three listings it shows pictures it's a google my business page google my business page something like this and when you start searching for items you're going to start being influenced by how many reviews does that business have how many stars is that business and you know you might start going through the through the reviews and review rankings but the proper represent representation of this google my business listing is going to have a dramatic effect on your decision making if it doesn't have a website you can visit you're probably going to hop away a direction bar a call button options to order ahead and pick up online and when you keep on searching even further, you start seeing things that are connected to this Google My Business profile, like an Instagram, a LinkedIn, a TikTok, a Twitter, and a Facebook. So as we dive deeper into Google My Business and Google My Business listings, what we're going to find out is how do we accurately have items like this properly represent us and the things that we do online? Maybe you're maybe your um, ordering domain is not listed correctly and maybe something's misrepresented on here that you want to fix you can claim ownership of your google my business listing online and now i'll save that for a separate video but after you've claimed ownership of your google my business page the next steps are going to be for optimization you're going to hop into your edit profile and you want to be listed indexed if you're not having yourself listed in the proper categories as myself for this restaurant mexican restaurant we do takeout taco restaurant we do delivery service lunch restaurant catering food and drink supplier we do it all we filled in our description the more the internet information it has about you the better phone number website social profile connections this one is going to lead a little bit later into uh, search engine optimization so google's already telling you right here indirectly that even let's just call it directly you know they value the citations if you have a youtube youtube page a facebook page an instagram page a linkedin profile a TikTok, a twitter these all are items that high that have something that's called a high domain rating. The more places that you're listed with credible, strong search search and traffic website, the better that you're gonna be referenced to and cited as a, as a credible item. You wanna make sure that your menu link is gonna be correct if that's the type of business that you're operating. You wanna make sure that as a service-based business, if you offer delivery, do you what's what areas are you serving the more that you can be listed in something the merrier if these are all going to be areas that you listed if i was serving the city of new york i would start out with not just new york i'd put in manhattan if i was in los angeles i'm not going to put just los angeles what if i service arcadia which is an area of los angeles what if i serviced hollywood another area of los angeles I mean, I have, may have that wrong, but to me, it's all Los Angeles, Los Angeles County, but that's a different story.
you know even here as you see items places that places that we may service there's some suggestions and one one, one that i didn't get is we service myrtle town we service rosewood we service bayview indianola ridgewood i don't know where break cut is but the more information Google has about you, the better. And that's going to help you and your business out. Because if these people are searching with you in, searching for you in those areas, Google's going to suggest you places that, you know, deliver to Humboldt Hill, California, King Salmon, California, Manila, California. These are all really important listings that you need to be seen for, you know, putting your correct business hours your, if you have a different delivery hours as well, if you have breakfast from a certain time, happy hour, you need to have that list uh, listed in there as well. Are you wheelchair accessible? Are you great for children? Do you have high chairs? Every single thing about you in this play, that you offer, you need to put in Google My Business. Expect people to find you if they don't know that's what you offer. I've heard a lot from from several business owners. Hey, people just know that's what we do. People just people assume that because yes, we are a pizza place. We deliver. Who doesn't deliver? Two thousand twenty four. You'd be really surprised all the nooks and crannies that different businesses do or don't do. Just because you're a service based restaurant in a town like Eureka, people don't know that we cater 30 miles away 50 miles away people they're not going to know unless you put that kind of information out there all that's really important all of that is really vital a lot of business owners don't really leverage putting this type of information about themselves out there let alone how to properly access their google my business profile and just like I'm going to ask you if you like what I'm seeing, if you like what you're seeing in this video and you like what I do, uh, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below to show your support. And just like we do on this YouTube channel, you also have to do that for your Google My Business listing when people leave you reviews. Are you going to respond to people? Are you going to interact? Like people look for that. People look for that interaction. And... No, that's a topic for for a different item, but I th these are things that you need to know as a business owner and operator when handling the online representation of your business. Are you responding to the comments? Are you thanking people for their support? Are you trying to make things right and see why you got a lower review? What's really cool about Google My Business, you'll start seeing what people most mention you for. Like we're mentioned a lot for delivery. We're mentioned a lot for dollar because we sell $1 tacos. We're mentioned a lot for catering. We have Tinga, which is our chicken chipotle. People mention that a lot. Quesabirias, sponsorships, churros. That's what we're really well known for. You'll start seeing what people talk about you. And you can, you know, start picking up pinpoints off of that and saying, okay, this is what people are talking about me, good and bad. You need to address it as a business owner and operator. Anybody who's operating a business needs to be well versed with the Google My Business dashboard. And so let's look at over here. We're looking at, you know, messages. We don't message people through that platform. Let's see what kind of uh, pictures people are posting. You know, these are some paid photographers that have put some cool stuff together about us, some cool pictures about our items. And, you know, all all's good so far. So I'm happy. It's a high five for me. As an example, you know, our business profile interactions are up 17% since March of last year, which is great. Now we're comparing apples to apples. You know, menu, people who viewed your menu content, we're up 51% versus March of last year. We're doing something right. We're trending upwards. This is great to see. Food orders. Food orders made from our business profile. 203 for the month of March. Calls. Our calls are down 6 and 6.4% versus last March. I'm not surprised. We are trying to do the most that we can to increase our online business. Most calls that we missed were on Saturdays. 
So that tells me, as a business owner and operator, the average phone call to us, our average cost per ticket is around $38, $41. So by seeing this, it tells me, is this extra $38 times five phone calls? Let me see what it's going to do. $38 times five phone calls. If we still have the capacity to handle that type of growth, that's an extra $190 in sales on average that we were missing out on because um, we are missing phone calls on Saturdays. So if it tells me we're missing phone calls between the hours of five and we missed four at seven, I need to schedule somebody to fill in those time slots. We need additional help. We're not getting to the phone fast enough to answer those calls. Yes, me as a business owner and operator, we're trying to drive traffic online, but let alone people are still using that phone and I want that money. Leave no money on the table. We were, this is what we're here for. This is our game day. This is our game time. We want it all. So by leveraging Google My Business, we can see we're missing calls. We missed one call on a Tuesday in March, another call on a Thursday. We missed two calls on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I need to step up my, my game as a business owner and operator more on Fridays between the hours of six and seven and bring in another, another extra person to get that extra $190. I'm in California. Minimum wage is $16 an hour. People are getting good tips. If I put somebody on for a four-hour shift to help us out from 4.30 to 8.30 at $16 an hour plus all these other taxes, let's call them $17.75 after taxes times four, a part-timer, that's $71. Not only do I get to give my customer better customer service, better attention, we generated an extra $190 in sales, and we also have to pay out about $71, but that's not a bad thing because we still made $119 more in sales. But the great thing is, is now we have another person to be attentive. We take stress away from that staff member and we're being able to operate better and efficiently and work as a strong, more united team because we can work confidently because we're addressing all these manners. So that's a really good thing. about. It. So we also seen that for the month of March, 1,229 clicks. So we're doing great. We're kicking butt left and right. Uh, we're up 13.4% traffic since last year. If there's anything I can say as a business owner and operator, these are going to be the, some of the strongest tools that you can leverage and utilize for yourself to help you get the best possible representation online. It's just like a key. When you're, when you're handling your online presence, search engine optimization, paid ads, everything else, every single piece of this recipe matters for the outcome that you're going to receive. If you're driving all these advertisements, all these sales, all this online promotion, it means nothing if you don't have a strong staff to be able to handle that incoming flow. So you, as a business owner operator, you don't, you can't just be working in your business. You have to be working on your business. And if you're, you know, you're going to be really disappointed if you're generating all this traffic and the potential for all this revenue, but you have a sour faced front facing personnel of your front of house. They also need to be well trained, well treated, because they will be the reflection of what people see in your business. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this video today for a small introduction on Google My Business and how it, its importance will matter in growing your business and optimization of your business. Again, this is a small ingredient in the recipe that is your business. And I hope it brings you the best outcome possible. Stay tuned for more.